30, back to throw. Trips back, throws the bomb. Touchdown! Estaverde, quick stop, looking left, throwing into the end zone, touchdown! Welcome to In the Pocket, presented by Jack Pocket, New Jersey's first lottery app. Hi, I'm Vinny Testaverde, and joining me on today's show is former New York Jets great quarterback Chad Pennington. Chad, thanks for taking some time to join me on today's show. Absolutely, Vinny. So great to see you, man. I haven't talked to you in a while. This is going to be fun. So one of these questions I have here uh, from Jack Pocket. Uh, so you're a first-round pick. You're coming from Knoxville, Tennessee, to New York City. Was there a big adjustment for you? How'd you handle that? Oh, my goodness. I, I remember draft day and just looking at Robin Weir and Gates at the time. I said, hey, you know, Toto's not in Kansas anymore. We're going to New York. And <laughs> got to figure this thing out. Um, and people ask me, you know, what was one of the first things I learned in New York? And I think it was that, you know, I learned what road race was. And the you know, road <laughs> race on the LIE <laughs> coming from a southern town, a smaller town. And you think you're going to this huge city. But then when you get there, you realize that there's kind of like these small pockets of small towns and small areas. I always say, you know, you go to Manhattan and you can ask somebody where something is and all they can tell you is the street they live on and the street they work on. <laughs> That's the right. They can't tell you anything else about Manhattan. So what was your best memory, whether it was on or off the field as a, as a Jets player? Something that maybe a lot of people don't know and this has to do uh, with Woody Thompson. And so when my father-in-law was diagnosed, uh, with leukemia and he was in West Virginia and we were kind of looking at our options. He was so instrumental in first getting us to Sloan Kettering so that uh, Bob could have the best treatment in the world. And then he offered his private plane to us to get Bob to New York. And to me, that just shows his heart and who he is as a man. And not a lot of people know that side of Woody. Uh, and so I felt like that was something to share because that meant a lot to us and uh, our family and what we were dealing with in 2002 and 2003. And for Woody to extend that, that grace and kindness meant a lot to us. We'll never forget it. Who was the toughest defensive back that you, you faced? Guy that you always knew, you know, hey, I better be careful with this throw, making sure, uh, you know, when, you, when you, you broke the huddle, you knew where that guy was lined up. First two that come to mind and it's because they knew their defense so well and you know this, is Sam Madison and Pat Sin. They knew their defense so well, and they would cheat within their defense. <laughs> because they, their they would end up in places that you're like, he's not supposed to be there, but he is. Uh, those two guys come to mind. I always thought Asante Samuel uh, with the Patriots was really, really tricky because he could play that off coverage, and then it could be two man, it could be cover two, it could be cover one. He was always jumping around. Um, so those, those three within the division, I thought, uh, were really tough to go against because they had that offensive mindset. They, First of all, they had a short-term memory. They didn't care about getting beat. <laughs> That's right. And they, were just, they were just looking to ruin your day uh, from a defensive side, and I thought those three always, you know, you had to be, you had to be ready to go when you face them, for sure. So off the field, what have you done, if anything, uh, to take care of your linemen, uh, dinners, presents, anything like that that you could share with us? Oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, I'll flip the script and say, hey, I remember my first rookie dinner. You were a part of it where we had to go to the Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> and my checkbook got lit up for my first rookie dinner. Uh, and, and I just remember so much meat coming to the table on these huge skewers with just meat after meat. That was one that I always remember. But you're right. I mean, as a quarterback, you always wanted to take care of your guys. Uh, and you wanted to know, you wanted them to know how much you appreciated them. And so, you know, whether it was ostrich skin boots to flat screen TV uh, to three piece suits, whatever it was, uh, it even got to the point sometimes where. Uh, they even give you suggestions, right? Of what they were thinking about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Again, I appreciate you coming on the show today, Chad. It was great catching up with you. Wish you the best of luck. Hey, Vinny, really enjoyed this. Great seeing you guys and great seeing you. Tell your family I said hello. Really enjoyed it. Thanks so much.
Same here. Tell the family hello, and uh, we'll talk soon, hopefully. Jack Pocket lets you play all your favorite official state lottery games right on your phone. Win big while watching the Jets win big without missing any of the action. Play your favorite lottery games like Powerball and Mega Millions right from your own couch in the comfort of your own home. Go to the App Store to download the app for free or visit jackpocket.com. Get your first Mega Million or Powerball ticket free using code JETS21. That's jets two one. Must be 18 or older to play. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Please visit jackpocket.com slash TOS for full terms of service.